Yeah, I got you. Oh, thank you so much, your sweetheart. I've never seen you around in here before. Um, are you new? Oh, um, yeah, actually, I just moved in. Uh, today, I'm getting all my furniture and trying to move it upstairs. I'm Jerry. Nice to meet you. I'm, well, it's nice to meet you, Jerry. I'm, um, I'm Tiffany. Uh, do you live here? No, <laughs> I'm just wandering around. Just kidding. No, do you, what apartment are you at? Um, that's actually a really good question. I'm pretty sure it's up on the third floor somewhere in the corner. Oh yeah, you're in that new apartment, that studio that just came available? Oh, well, it was, um, it was nice to meet you, Jerry. I'm gonna go drop these pills off. They're getting kind of heavy, so. I like your shoes, by the way. What? Your shoes. Um, I really like them. Um, thanks. Um, well, I guess I'll see you around. Jerry, what are you doing here? Wow. I'm surprised you remembered my name. Can I help you with something? Yeah, hi. Um, I got you a little something. For me? It's a little uh, welcome to the neighborhood type gift. Wow. Um. Do you like them? Yeah, they're really nice. I just, I'm just a little shocked because no one's ever bought me a pair of shoes before. Um, how did you know my size? Um, lucky guess. Is this your place? Yeah, um, it's just, it's a little empty right now because of, you know, I'm waiting on furniture. And... It looks really nice. Um, can I check it out? Actually, I am. Um... I'm getting ready to go to an audition, so I'm I'm about to leave. leave oh, soon. Yeah, yeah okay. Down. I mean, I didn't mean to be intrusive or anything like that. It's okay. Um, thanks for the shoes. Uh, hey, Tiffany. Um, is it all right? Maybe if we go out sometime, get a little uh, ice cream or something. Jerry, um, that's very sweet of you, but um, I. I just got out of a really serious relationship, so I'm really not looking for someone to be dating right now. Oh. No, it's okay. Um, thanks for the shoes. Ah, oh, that's all right. Enjoy the shoes. I know it's okay. Sorry, I was looking down. No, it's okay. I'm sorry. Are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah. Are, are you okay? Yeah. Uh, are you okay? I think you just asked me that. Did I? I guess I was just double checking. Luis. Tiffany, do you live in the building? I do. I've been here about five years. How about you? Oh, um, I actually just moved in. I'm still getting used to the place. Well, it looks like we're neighbors then. You uh, get a chance to meet anyone else in the building? No, actually, yeah, I met um, Jerry, I think that's what his name is. <sighs> yeah, I know Jerry, yeah, he talks with everyone. Yeah, he gave me some really weird, creepy vibes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can definitely see that. He's a good guy though. Uh, I think he served in the military, so he's still dealing with some PTSD. Oh my God, is that what it is? Let me tell you, he bought me a pair of shoes, okay? What, really? Yeah, I thought it was so weird. Well, like tennis shoes or what? No, they were heels and they were really nice. And the creepiest part of it all was that he knew what my size was. Wow. He must really like you because uh, he's never bought me any shoes. Yeah, well, I'm thinking about giving him back because, I don't know, when a guy gives you something, it usually means that he wants something in return. 
Hmm. So you're saying if I don't want to be weird, just never buy you a gift. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> well, no, maybe you can buy me a gift. Maybe that wouldn't be weird. No, 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 no. I don't want to be weird or anything. <laughs> How about I take you out sometime instead? Okay. And as long as you don't act weird, then I won't have to drop you back off with Jerry. Oh, then I definitely won't be weird. <laughs> <laughs> I really like those shoes, by the way. Oh, that's funny. You know who gave them to me? Uh, I can take a wild guess. Yeah. You coming in? I really shouldn't, but um, what the hell? You have a good time tonight? Yeah, actually. Is it weird that I only met you yesterday, but I feel like I've known you forever? Oh, no, I have that effect on girls. Oh, so you've done this before. Uh, maybe once or twice. <laughs> to be honest, I haven't really dated since my last relationship. I, um, things got really messy and I don't know, I've just kind of kept to myself since then. Things didn't end well? Well, he started stalking me after we broke up, so I had to get a restraining order, and yeah, it was just really bad. I have the worst habit of attracting the most terrible guys, but um, that's why it was a real shock that I met you. I mean, you're a good guy, and I don't know. I'm sorry if I was weird tonight. Oh, it's okay. You weren't too bad. Um, if anything, I think you just need a little bit of practice, and you'll get the hang of things. You know, you make me feel really comfortable. Are those the shoes I got you? Jerry? What are you doing in my apartment? How did you get in? You left the door unlocked. Are those the shoes I got you? You're scaring the hell out of me. You need to leave right now. Look, here, take them. I don't even want them anymore, okay? You need to go. Those shoes are very special to me. They belong to my mom. Don't just throw them away like that. If you or someone you know is suffering from mental illness, whether it be anxiety, depression, or bipolar disorder, make sure to get help or encourage them to get help. America has this stigma where they shame people for seeking help, and that shouldn't be the case. Let's all do better as a group to encourage people to seek help when they need it, so we don't have cases like the one we just saw. I hope you guys enjoyed today's life lesson with Luis. Make sure to like and subscribe to this channel so you get notified every time we release a new video. And as always, make sure to share this with someone that you love.